It's just over, Johnny. I haven't posted something, but then Twitter refresh my watch. Okay. Hey everyone, it's Rockman. And not Rockman. Oh wait, that's what Tom says. Cobra. Oh, uh, yep. <laughs> yep. Doom's aunt is arranging for people to come over and buy stuff. Uh oh. Ah. <clears throat> Should I tell my cousin that you're selling uh, stuff that they might want? <laughs> now I have to remember the controls, which of course I don't. How are you doing? Besides, obviously, getting getting busy with stuff. Okay, so I don't, uh, where were we again? I think I already talked to this. We are, we are in the, the third floor. We're going to Clanger's Tavern. So Cobra is now watching my OBS live, so not delayed. <clears throat> And then uh, you'll go into that sewer pipe. They top them. I can't remember if you actually went in here and did the, the cauldron or not. Yeah, there should be a cauldron in the top too. I'm getting a shortcut. Um, crouch and then jump. Oh, I'm gonna have to meet with Jess for one second. I got a phone call coming up. I'm gonna do that. Hey, bro. Play a rock, you can just go ahead and go into the level. That's not that's how you uh the little pipe that you just raised will just get you to bubble good spot. So you're good. But yeah, this main area here is pretty easy. You just climb up the once you get down there you'll see like a, a big can looking thing that you can climb up and then just go around the top and collect the notes and all that fun stuff. So this is Clanker's Cavern. Pretty un 
familiar with this level. Alright, I'm off the top. I think it's gonna start Final Fantasy VI. What? Have you ever played that one before? I don't think so. That happens a lot. Those jackals. I only have three lives now. Oh, uh, yeah. Am I even supposed to be able to get up here this way? Yep. Hey, Ramos. Yeah, you just walk across there and jump across the rest of the game. <laughs> hey, Luna. Hey, Luna. How's it going? Yes, they are doing. There's something in here. No, no, it's not in there. <coughs> I think other than that Mumbo token, you're good with the fairy. Uh, going up that way underwater into the next area. Did I? What did I miss over here, though? Just the mumbo token? I think. Yeah, I think it was just the mumbo token. No, there's, there's oh, I didn't know. How is that guy hitting me? You guys are real bad guys. Yeah, the easiest way to do that is uh, get in position, talent drop, and jump over there. There you go. Anything that's the entrance. And then a tip for uh, getting like from somewhere high to low. You know how when you ground pound and you hit the ground, you do that little bounce. Yeah. Mm. If, if you, you do that, off, yeah. if you angle the bounce off of a cliff, you won't get hurt when you land. Yeah, I uh, saw somebody on YouTube do that, and Doom was like, Rockman, I do that all the time, you didn't come poop. <laughs> yep, just right down there, where those jokes are. They're just blue eggs over there. I can remember how to swim underwater properly. Yeah, the swimming controls in this game are kind of dumb. I believe why our friend Curse gave up on this game. You don't have to, you don't have to turn around and get the notes right now if you don't want. You don't have to go out that way to leave the level. Usually the first thing that I do is I'll stay underwater and go for a, and go uh, clockwise around the room from entering it and just uh, get under get in all the pipes 
I feel like everything. I'm expertly avoiding this note. I'm probably desperately you're trying you're everything in my power, uh, power to get it. Beef tips of noodles for dinner. Delicious.
some of these pipes are useful, some of them I don't think are. I think this one might be. Check out this pipe. Yep, there's a jiggy back there, so yep. Yeah. Getting jiggy with it. Whoever says that. Uh, to be a favor. He's talking to me. You can cry with giant eyes. straight down where you're at. Because it's going to open up a lot of the level. 
And if you go straight down, you'll see an opening in the ground where there's a big chain. Oh, it's on the other side of that pipe. It's tail. It's like under, like under the middle part of him. There it is. Do I go through it? No, you just gotta swim to the bottom there. And then uh, once you get to the bottom, there's a keel. And you have to swim through it three times. But luckily, that little fish that swims down here will uh, give you air bubbles. I'll go ahead and try to seek out that fish first to get some air. He's, he's right. Yeah, if you just keep going where you're going, you'll find him. I saw yeah. an air bubble. I'm gonna die. Okay. Yeah, that part's the hardest part of this whole level. game over in this game even penalizes you at all. I think it just makes you start at the beginning of the layer and you have to go back into the level. Hey Son. Hey Son. Uh, run straight into it. Alright, so there you go. And just kind of keep an eye on where he's at so you can collect the notes and still live. Don't get the green ninja, I guess. Thing. It didn't refill it totally. Uh, I think it does too. This is like in Super Mario 64 when you have to go through the eels' rings, but then they just disappear, except even worse. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say the easiest bit is to stay a little bit behind that fish, get some air bubbles, slowly make your way around the room and collect the notes. Nice. Yeah, this part's pretty stressful. Oh, you gotta do this good thing. Oh, one more time. And I 
don't know if we got all the notes, I can't. Down it. Over. Okay, I'm gonna save one now. Might be the only note down here. Do it. Got an achievement. Team Why the fuck would people be outraged? She'd be outraged if she didn't. Yeah. I think that might be all the news. I'm not sure though. There you go. Let's keep on going and meet up with So we, I think you should be able to make it. Perfect. Hardest part of this level done. Now the clangers breathe at the surface, and there's a lot more things that you can reach now with him being up here. So if you want to, you can go ahead and find him and grab that jiggy and go in some random hole that is. Did you say climb on top of him? Yep. Yeah, he collects some notes and he left you a big. Should be on the back or the back end of him. To real quick, go to the back end of him and uh, climb up his uh, tail fin. You might have to use the talent draw, I can't remember. It looks pretty steep. Where's the bottles in this level? And then you want to jump onto that platform. There you go. And just be careful platforming over to that because there's a small pipe underneath where the jiggy is. Okay, well, what, how there do I is. shoot eggs again? Um, do the crouch or Z or, yep. That's not the right button. <laughs> I think you, if you can just bring it, yeah, there you go. Run up right to it and take it. That's what I do. I'm pretty sure you could probably shoot that open with eggs, too. You probably could. I think I've seen somebody do that. <laughs> Might have been Doom, I don't know. Bon Jovi on notes. Nice. Yep, and then, uh, see that green jump pad across the way there? Yeah. It's right ahead of you. Go ahead and take that and jump up on that pipe. It's right ahead of you there, too. Use this again, I remember. You just jump a whole day. And you'll be able to grab onto that bike. Nice. And I want to be able to just slide down here and come back up and do it again. Because I think they're. There's something at the bottom of that. I can't remember which one. But you want a talent truck. So that way you won't slide all the way down that. From the other player. Okay, that's an extra life. So yeah, you have to go back over there and go back up there. I couldn't remember if that was the one that had the honeycomb beef or... Or what? I usually jump on a flanker, but I, I didn't even know you could get up there that way. Yeah, I think once his face chuck a con right in that and people were surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, town front on down that, click the notes and jump onto that other pipe there. It's pretty heavy. An anger, I guess. I'm not gonna tell you what to do that. Thanks for hunting, home hike. About time. Um, yeah, go ahead and go up on him and go to where his spouts up front of him and stand on top of it, let it shoot you to the top. There will be a jiggy up there. Pretty tight platforming. Smells good in here. Hmm? I said it smells good in here. I really don't remember this part of Thinker's Cavern. But it has been years since I played this game. Zooey just eats every three. And then see those little brown platforms in the water? If you stand on those and aim towards his teeth, you'll see like like a golden tooth. You have to aim your eggs and shoot the teeth out. You should be able to do the first person zoom. Kind of reset your camera. I'm just randomly pressing buttons. Okay, I did reset it. Nice. On the other side. Yeah, you just go in where that tooth just go in where that tooth was. Do I want me to go in it? Yep. And once you go in you should just like collect either a mumbo token or a jiggy and then just walk right back out. Don't fall down. And then go around the other side and do the same thing. Yeah, that's, that's my favorite angle right there. You can go ahead and fall down into here now if you want. Me and your town try and pick up some notes. Really stupid crowd. The inside of it looks freaking weird. And then here's the hoop challenge. The green hoop starts it, and then you gotta look for the next green hoop after you jump through it. No sort of penalties were failing. Yes, 
to be right there, yep. Yep. I was getting ready to like die you and I realized that you don't need to really worry about that. We were all like right in the road together. Oh. Uh, and you just gotta restart it. That was really good for a first attempt though. That was close. Once you complete the dupe puzzle, the water will raise so you can get to those two platforms. Before ever existing. Yeah, there you can go down the hallway there with the musical notes on it, but uh, I don't believe you would stay in here. You can just go there to collect them. Well, actually, there's a jindo at the bottom of the little pond in front of here. Yeah, right beyond him. He swims straight down in that little gap. Pink jindo. Another weird freaking camera angle. Straight across from you, where you get, yeah, down at the bottom there, there's some more musical notes that they'll leave again. Just grab the notes, turn around. Platforms that's not where the jiggy is. Yeah, there's a fly pad. You can use it to get to the other side of the pipe. Yeah, 
There you go, this is free for us. Let me level. Invincibility time. platforms up against the wall where you have to use the, uh, the green jump pad. Oh, the wolfie mod's not working? I'm not sure which. Yeah, I want to say that, that jump pad is what you might want. But that's not it, it's on the other side of Planker, like against the wall. Yeah, you want to jump down on that and go right instead of left. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Yep, and the last two notes are on the other side of them. You have to do something similar, you have to use the green jet pad. Not that one, but on the direct other side of them. On the other side of the level? Yeah, pretty much the whole other side of the room. Well, there was one on the other side. Yeah, you want to go over there where that bouncing, bouncing dude is. And uh, climb your way up there. Yeah, I don't think I've been this way. I thought it was another jump pad. I was wrong. Oh, my God. 
you know, the platform you way across these, uh, there's a link in this. I like how they put this, like, platform in here to, like, be hard, but I think it's, like, one of the easiest platforming, like, things in the game. You're done with playing your tower. So look for where his face is and go into the pipe that's directly in front of his face. That's literally the easiest way I could figure to get out of here. Other than dying, and then now I got up to seven lives, so. Alright. Anyway, from three to seven. Now we get to go to the fun bubble book farm. Yeah, you want to climb up the, uh, the thing. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot these guys respawn since you died that one time. Yeah, turn your camera and jump right in that pipe there. Then you'll jump straight across these pipes, and then you go up to that that pipe that you raised over there to the right. On the platform, there will be a a gate opening thing. Water. She wears a reinforced girdle under that impulsive dress of hers. Rose. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Ripper. Ripper. My sister sings in her own band, Grunty and the Broomstick Boys. They're awful. <laughs> yeah, I, I could totally imagine they'd be awful. Yeah, so it sounds better than the. Uh, Dragmire and the Phantom Riders. Yep, and then you'll go in there and then go up to the top of the platform in there and then log bubble the floor. <laughs> Why don't you do that? I'm gonna go get a drink. I hope it's a sun drop. Cool, okay. 
And then uh, to get the blue loot phone, you want to go up that hill right behind you. Oh, actually, first, first, um, go across the water there. Not down there, but across and then go out the door. Yeah. And then at the bottom of the ramp there will be the grunty eyes that popped out from the running clutch. And then go back in there, go across that little gap there again and up the hill. So you guys will never be able to get us. Oh, and then uh, to the left, up the ramp. I know you guys will totally be surprised at what my, my notification panel is on my phone. Any notification what? A notification noise on my phone. Something from Sonic? It is. Nice. Okay, so this is the entrance to the Bubba Blue kind of Swamp. Is there something wrong here? Entrance to the dome. That's health. Should I just go? Should I just go on in? Go on in. This is the level that I probably will not be able to 100%. Keep Actually, going. right behind the entrance is where the uh, new move is. Back there where that red frog is. I could have the Mario spinning his tape. Well, I just like him too, but. I choose not to. Should I bother with that guy yet? Um, you can if you want. Is he on a time limit? No. I don't know, I unlock the next one though, and then at the end of the chain, you will little jiggy. So now this water does damage then, is that correct? Yes. There are piranhas in that water. Yep, go straight across there. Yeah, then frogs are ridiculous. How am I supposed to kill them? Uh, a very precise beat to hang in here. I'm just not precise enough. You know, collect those notes in the water and then jump over.
Hey, you gotta do the crouch. You're on the guy. Yeah, one that's never used. The the one that's like never used. Yeah, the one that's literally never used. Yeah, the Is the music in that game bad, Rightless? Or in that version? Probably. Yeah, this thing doesn't stop. Look at those weird head frogs. They're just watching you. They're just like, we live for this moment. Oh, it already got away. And Grandpa had me on that leg of Jiggy up here, and you had to go up that ramp and around to get it inside of it. Oh, 
You can't get anything under the top ones right now. You got to go out of here. Yeah. Let's go a little bit to the right. Yeah, there it is. Oh shit. Oh, hello. Oh. Six notes, only two jiggies. Well, luckily you're back at the beginning. You can try that uh, platform in one word. Okay, I'm 
Oh, did you walk out of that one with your thumb? Actually. Everybody that I had blocked my friends list. It was not matter. I sent them to Sarah. I'm like, whoops, I didn't even do that one. So yeah, I got two more to block it again. Yeah, I don't think we need to do these hooks again. If you already got everything on. Well, actually, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. That's good. Keep going. I'm a dummy. Forgot one of those props that didn't appear up there. Lance is an absolute savage. I'm telling his dragon eyes to attack a human being. Pokemon's gonna attack you. Oh, 
Um, if you want to, just go ahead and wait until you're in the alligator come back there to get those notes. Because he can walk around in that water free and not get hurt. Yeah. So where do I want to go now? Uh, up the ramp and into the maze to get to Mumbo Setup. If you want to make it through pretty quickly because you're you'll be on the boot timer. It's easy to make it through though. If you miss any notes, you can walk back through with the alligator and get them. says 10 is, you can jump on it. Oh, there's a token behind you, too. Maybe you just gotta jump across the top here to get it. Behind us, though, apparently, is or behind us. Yeah. Did I get it? I I did. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you get it. If you go back to the beginning of the maze, I think you missed a note in there. Right around that first turn. I don't think I did. Maybe you got it. Oh, no, you did get it. Okay. Yeah, you're good. I thought, I thought you missed it. 79 notes. Alright, so the first thing to do is uh, get, walk back out of the maze, go to the right. All the way up against that back wall where those notes were. Go ahead and get those now. Do you do not take fall damage. Okay, good. Uh, this it might be easier because you can use the the X button to bite and attack. So it might be easier to go back to that middle platform and fight those frogs now. You can just walk into an attack. You don't have to do the jump and beak attack and all that. Yeah, Oh, 
Nice. And he took give you two with the bite? Holy crap. I don't think I knew that. All the health I could ever need. Yep, straight across there. You can go under the platforms and get the notes and the memo tokens and the Jinjo. And the things of that nature. And everything of that nature, yes. Oh, there's another token right there. And a couple of gold feathers, too. Nice. Are you good to walk out of that area now? Oh! Extra life, too. Extra life that I got before, but then respawn. Okay, so there's nothing else here important. Nothing else over here, no. Nope. Um, next you want to go behind TikTok, I think. No, you got those notes. Um, yeah, you can't do anything over there. And uh, do you want to do the alligator minigame of Mr. Vile without the running shoes, or do you want to get the running shoes before you attempt it? I just rather get the running shoes. Yeah, I don't want to go. Um, actually, you want to go back up to where the alligator was then? The big alligator. I think it's. Which alligator? This, this level is Straight across from this stuff. Straight across from the big turtle. So go across there to the left. This is some more eggs here I can grab. And you actually want to walk inside of the nose of the alligator there. And then go ahead and collect the nose. And then turn around and go in the other nostril. I think I'm at 94. You don't have to do anything in here now. That's Mr. Vile in the game. You'll be returning here one day. Unless, like, it... So go back up behind the alligator, where that maze was, and then go turn back into Banjo. This is a few things left to do. Is it possible to go to Gobi's Valley or whatever level it is and unlock those things now? Yes, after you collect all your notes and... Because, yeah, I, I, yeah might, can go. I might just go ahead and do that this stream and then come back here and attempt it, because it is an achievement, so... Yeah. Alright, so... Um, so you actually don't have to walk through the maze with him, you can actually walk under... Right, under yeah. the gate. So, am I going back to Mumbo now? Yep. We'll have to do a little bit of back and forth thing, but this is not too bad. So we're going to turn back in, and then grab those boots when you're done. And make your way out, and do that. The uh, Jake switch. The uh, Jake switch is kind of thing you have. Because if you miss it and fall, you have to walk all the way around, go up there, and do it again. Yep, back in the water. Yep, and then you want to do that puzzle thing. It's kind of stupid. Kind of just get a good look at it if you don't want to try it the first time so you know what that platform looks like. Is it best to talent trap this, you think? No, I usually jump and just kind of like jump from egg to egg. 
Yeah, that's kind of like when we were trying I to get rid of I some. Of the drug, so that's definitely yeah, give, give me your best shot. That shot was not good enough. He that's was happened terrible. to many of us. Real nice of them to just change your fucking view completely to the absolute wrong view. Yep. What the fuck is that place with all the health? In the middle. Uh, it's right ahead of there. And then while you're over there, go across to where Chip Tuff is, that big turtle is, and then shoot the, uh, the egg into that last crop that's mouth.
Yeah, you'll have to go to where that alligator is, yeah. Should be pretty up. There we go. The dumb thing is, you have to walk through that stupid maze again. To make it the literally the biggest time killer ever. Not that this is a race or anything. Yeah. I'm still waiting on my roommate to play Final Fantasy VI. Doom to play Final Fantasy VI again. <laughs> That's right. Forgot about that. It was a long wait. Is there a button to put the camera behind me? Okay, yeah, it doesn't always work. Uh, if you but... hit up on the right uh, stick, it might, yeah, there we go. It brought it a little bit closer to you. Probably have to turn it again. Oh no, nice. Be careful. There's plenty of time to take it like looks like each cat slowly. Whatever that RPG was that he was playing, then I assume, oh, yeah. then I assume he's got to do Yakuza Six immediately before Bunny starts it. <laughs> Did Bunny just beat Five? Yeah, somewhat recently. Anyways, when she says, I'm not going to get the Yakuza 6 this year. It's like 
when he's right here with us. That's right. What, uh, if they want to do, you're not going to call that blood. If you want to get to the pier, but you don't know if you believe that. And then right after that, Grant was supposed to that, that emote. I was like, that's the face that Bunny makes when she said that. Nice. You know, I got some Mr. Vile, so you can go ahead and leave the level if you want. To go get the running For some dumb reason, I thought that was the ground, and it was not. Now, where the fuck is the exit? There you go. Straight ahead there. I yeah, die, and then I'll get right to the exit. To the... Oh, yeah. To the left, I believe. Nope, nope, to the right. Okay. Right. There we go. Turn across the weird food or arch or whatever that is. Um, okay, what about what about the grunty switch? Do I need the alligator or crocodile to get that form? Nope. The only thing you're going to need the alligator for, which you can get when you come back with Mr. Vile, which it is, I'm going to guide you once you leave the level. Because so you need to break up with a piece of ice and mango. So I can leave and discuss now? Yep. When you leave here, go back towards the entrance of this room. And um, there will be a thing of boots in there. You'll need to get those and come out and walk your way back there behind the blue hut. I think it's to the, the one to the right. Yeah. If you want to get the boots and head immediately like you're going back towards the blue hut. Yeah, there you go. You go through that hole in the back behind there. And you want to pound trot up here to the left. I don't want to open whatever level that was. Ah, okay, but I can't and go in there. Yeah, you might up for you to be wider here, too. I can't go in there without the crocodile. Yeah, if you go to the crocodile, we go in there. Right, what is the button to put in all jiggies at once? Uh, Z, or I think left bumper or right bumper? There you go. Right trigger work. Or right trigger work. And then there's a pair of boots on top of the log right above that little entrance here. And get the anything to go. Now you can head out and go towards the walking uh, Gover's Valley. Is there anything in this pipe? Nope. Uh, I think Brent Delva, maybe. My old sister's favorite sport is belly barging, whatever the hell that is. Although she's thin, she attended Fat Hag High. This, something interesting is that uh, in order to listen to her, Kazooie just pops out of the backpack. So Kazooie's listening to everything she says too. You won't believe that Gruntilla's this party trick is performing a scary striptease. I don't know if they heard this, but he's looking terrible. Mumbo does. 
He's a sick fuck. Yeah, Momo does. Yeah, Momo does after he extracts Tootie's beauty. Or maybe even beforehand. I mean, if he does, then well, that's on him, I guess. You want to go straight across on the other side. Her, Here she is uh, again. My lazy sister often yep. sleeps on a pile of treasure, the dirty hag. And uh, even though Doom that's said, even though that Doom said that you good. usually just don't even listen to this bitch and you just get go, I'm totally gonna write these down in a Google Doc for later. The only thing she's ever won was the sweatiest socks competition at which school. True. She often boasts of appearing on the cover of Fat Hag Monthly, sitting on her broomstick. Which end? Okay. okay. I think you said go over yeah, here or something. Your way there. I keep going up? Yep. Okay. Is there so let her go through that door. What about the jiggy? Yeah, go on ahead through that door. What about the jiggy that's here? Uh, you you can't get it from right where you're at. Okay. So let's go on in here. Yeah, you get it. You get it from in this room. So what you want to do is go ahead and bust down that wall, that golden wall or whatever. There'll be a switch back there. There you go. You'll go that way whenever you're uh, heading back to the blue form. But to unlock Gobi's Valley, you have to go to the right, or yeah, to the left there, through that doorway. This way? Yep, right through there. Did he shoot eggs with the spider webs to break them? Voila, a shortcut. Voila. Okay. And then you want to go through that mouth, or to the left of me there, into that note door. Then right inside here to the right is the puzzle to go to the valley. It's crazy, you still, you still almost have enough to unlock a uh, man must remain without collecting a single day. Okay. Did I go back the same way that I came or? Yep. Yep, go back the same way. You'll go to the Yeah, directly. To the right. Up here? Uh, down, down on the main level, not up here. And yeah, through that door there. Now you get that jiggy from Bubble Boots Lost Wood Switch. You just uh, jump on that pad and land in that pot. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Hold on, don't do that. You still gotta go and go to Valley first. So go ahead and break down that wall. Get the on top. Get the boots and then walk into Go's out. Just immediately to your left. This way? Yep. There we go. Through the platform.
Hey, you got all of them, huh? Oh, oh, that's bad asshole. Winnie's best friend at which school was the awful Fatty Hattie. <laughs> Fatty Hattie. Well, actually, she usually reads Fat Hag Month in magazine. While sipping a glass of her favorite camel spit milkshake. Ew. Some of the things that they could be are pretty nasty. Alright, here we go. We're totally just going yep, in uh, here to, uh... Go ahead and... Go ahead and talent drop, uh, straight across there. Up the sand hill or whatever that is. And then you're gonna go a little bit to the right, up those sand hills. Uh, Stretch to uh, the yeah, left. That's up that same hill. And then on the other side of that pyramid, up on top of that hill, uh, left. Straight across over there to the left is a uh, the hill. That is what you need to get the running shoes to beat Mr. Vile. There you can leave. Let's go straight towards that Sphinx there and... Or I guess Sphinxy is his name. Yeah, there you go. After today, you know, you'll be doing the rest of this game, so as you can see, I have not gotten any of the notes or anything else in this level uh, from when you get here. Cool. Uh, so they won't get confused or anything. That's what I always do, too. Asshole. What an asshole. Alright, so now I jump in the base or whatever. Yep, jump in the base, huh? You might want to look at it. I think it might be like eat a certain amount, maybe. Um, I don't think it is. I think it's just beat the survival. Choose first, or you just do it without. Uh, we get to choose first. Oh, 
Oh, wait, no, no. Doom did it without them, without them in the race. I did it with it. After I forgot about that. To, uh, to keep it in sync, talk to him before you get the shoes. So, like, once you talk to him and it starts, run and grab the shoes and then start doing what you gotta do. and no less than 30 of them need chopping, so you need to score 30 points. Oh, okay. Should be pretty easy with the running shoes. Okay. Alright, never done this before, so... Should I talk to him, get the shoes, and then eat the red ones faster than him? Yep. Yep. Press a button, or it just eats them automatically. Get the press bag. Just press X to eat young blaze. Yep. There you go. It don't last the whole thing. Yeah, you know, once you start biting, you continue to go in the direction where you're biting. The only way you have to quick turn around. So, I shouldn't just be mashing the button like that. Oh, so close. Still a lot harder than I even expected with the thing. So, you gotta right avoid the other ones and then you gotta run and grab the shoes again. Again. 
I like how he thinks that he wins when you guys had a draw. <laughs> Two of them that quickly.
way to refill my health. Oh, did you? Hey, yeah, you, you, you won, right? I won, I got the nice. jiggy, but I need to get yeah, 30 in one hurt. round. to the city to go back to the ice area where you busted that ice piece uh, to the right and then to the right again yeah there you Once you beat, uh, or once I guess I beat Freezy's you beat, that's Bon Jovi for the game. Okay. 
Do I hit exit game nothing then on this? Yep. It will save my progress, right? Yes. I'm a little bit before it does save and quit. This one, for some reason, I see this as exit game. achievements in Banjo Kazooie today. Five total out of Most of the achievements are get all of the moves, all the honeycomb pieces, complete the furnace fun. Yep. Beat Grunty. Uh, get all the Cheeto spell books, 900 notes, and the bottles, sliding puzzles. Yep. And see, the only game that I'm not very good at is the bottles, a uh, puzzle game. That one requires literally no platforming skill whatsoever, it's just putting a puzzle together. progress. Yep, I think in, in two streams that probably took me four hours, I maybe cut about 90 minutes uh, off the game for you. Um, I'm also not sure how long. I think I looked back at the time that you raced Doom recently, and I think it was about 90 minutes. Uh. Oh. Let's see, uh, Bunny is doing first time FF6. I um, so yeah, I will not be continuing or completing this game. Cobra will be. <sighs> when he comes and visits in a few weeks, right Cobra? Yep. Alright. Uh, thank you for the help and stuff. Yep, no problem. So yeah, my next stream should be Saturday. Uh, we have changed the plan, and Ratmus will be beating Super Mario RPG. Uh, we should totally raid uh, Bunny, right? Nice. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye, guys.